instituciones de la universidad. Solo le quería avisar.
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Nice meeting you and welcome. How are you? Fine, a little tired, but all okay. You? The same. Uh... Sorry. Yeah, exhausted. Exhausted. It's been a, a very long day. I suppose you work, everyone? Everybody works? Sorry, can you, can you, can you, can you I mean, push, push? Uh, I suppose everybody works. You work, Victor. I work, I am is I work in my house and I am you have your business? Sorry? Do you have a business? No, I am a technique support. Oh cool. That's great. Nice meeting you, Victor. For the ones who are joining, please don't forget your camera. Um, supposedly there are let's see, 18, I guess. Yes, 18 members in this group. So please, everyone, if you can switch on your camera, I will appreciate that. Remember that we need it. We need to, to see each other. I hope you don't have problems in, if it's raining, right? Sometimes it's, it rains heavily. So I hope you don't have any problem. So I will appreciate if you activate your camera. Nice meeting you, welcome. I'm going to be with you. So I'm going to give, I don't know. I'm going to wait for the ones who are missing. Five probably are missing. So let me call your names just. I would like to call the attendance when everybody is connected. <clears throat> There's a short profile. Let me introduce myself, please. Uh, my full name is uh, Joel Luis Castellanos Mancia. I'm going to be your teacher. And I've been a teacher for a long time, <laughs> 23 years. I started uh, as a teacher in 2000, long time ago. But I feel good. 
it's been a, a very nice experience working with English and working with um, students and mostly working with people who like English. I suppose you like it or not. Also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I um, I'm telling you this because um, I work in a place where uh, English is a prerequisite for some students, right? So they are in the classrooms, um, but they are there because they have to. It is not because they want to. So that's different, right? So uh, in those cases, it's a little bit hard to work with them and it's good to work with people who really want to learn English so I suppose you want to if you are here uh, you, you want to learn English right okay so I've been working in um, some places many places private schools uh, right now, uh, I'm working uh, with you, and I'm also working in a university. I teach English at a university. Uh, I work there in the morning and in the afternoon, and I'm working with you at night. So I hope everything goes fine. Uh, hello? You work all day. You work all day. It's it's not very hard. It's not very difficult. It is. That's why I told you I'm exhausted. It's exhausted. I work in the morning. I just, I got up today. I got up at five. I usually get up at four thirty. I start working at eight in the morning. I finish at noon, and then I start at in the afternoon, and then I work with you at night. It's really hard. Hello, Vilma. Hello, teacher. I have a question. Let me. En, en, esta, en este módulo solo nos va a hablar inglés y yo casi no lo entiendo porque es, es, soy principiante, ¿verdad? Entonces, I don't understand mucho. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, but that's the idea, right? That you have to be in touch. You have to, to listen English all the time. I know that at the beginning is kind of weird, difficult, but that's the idea that you have to listen to English every time. I mean, and if you want to improve, if you want to learn, Try to interact with English at home. Try to see movies, watch TV, but in English. Uh, yes, yes. Read I everything. understand that and we are here, we are practice to hear English, but um, entre nosotros, este, hay bastantes personas que todavía les está costando bastante lo que es la parte de listen, incluyéndome. <laughs> Pero yeah, I understand. Este, no sé si pudiésemos tomar la dinámica, si a usted le parece bien. Eh, si nos explica algo en inglés, este, we can translate o tú, usted nos lo podría traducir si dado el caso hay alguna palabra que nosotros no conozcamos. Y así aprovechamos también a more vocabulary. We are, must, we are more vocabulary, but... It's in second mode, and we are not it's the, very fluent. Ready. We are not ready to listen all day. We are okay. listening <laughs> <it's> not, <laughs> Spanglish. Uh, yeah, I understand that. I really understand that. Believe me. Um, we're going to do. We're going to try to do it the best i mean uh, yeah we can uh, do that i appreciate your um, opinion very much we can try it 
right? If you don't know something, uh, I'm going to switch, but not too much, okay? Because remember that we have one hour from eight to nine. So it, the time is short, right? So um, we have to take advantage of the time. Try to listen, try to get the idea. Uh, I know that in, this is a, a must that you have to work on your platforms, right? Tienen que trabajar en sus plataformas y eso tienen que irle dando, ver los videos. And you can use YouTube. Sometimes I suggest my students, if you have TikTok, Try to listen, to watch videos in English. It's really good. And I will try to suggest, because sometimes eh, with my some other students, I share some uh, videos about pronunciation, grammar, practice. You can find TikTok very funny in English. Or you sometimes go to YouTube and you watch some videos, some cartoons, right? I listen music in English, but I have, well, pongo los subtítulos in English and Spanish. Um, de esa manera yo más o menos recuerdo alguna que otra palabra. That's a good or, option. Mm -hmm. Y or, en este módulo nos vamos a guiar sobre todo por la, por la guía. O más que todo sería para este, support, but para como para refuerzo la mejor clase. Yes, I'm going to be your support. Ustedes deben de enfocarse en su plataforma. Eh, hacer eh, ahí los ejercicios, ver los videos, eh, todo en plataforma. Luego acá en clase, I'm going to help you. Uh, teacher, I don't understand this. Can you help me, please? Teacher, I didn't understand this on the platform. Can you help me? So I'm going to be your support. We are going to be here from eight to nine to clear up I, um, comments, ideas, or situations that you don't understand on the platform. Obviously, we are going to work here. We are going to practice conversations. We're going to practice listening, and we're going to practice grammar. But remember that the time is too short, right? So I'm going to be your support. You can do your job. Trabajen en la plataforma. Yep. Everything, exercises, videos, exams, right? And here, acá en clase, aclarar dudas. Si no hay dudas, si no hay algo que aclarar, we are going to practice some conversations, okay? That's what we are going to do. I don't know if you have another comment or question, otra duda, pregunta. Everyone, you look so different with mustache. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean that's uh, because it was it's a, a formal pic, a formal uh, photograph, right? So I need to shave uh, everything, but this is my mustache and my beard. Okay, let's move on, guys. Try to listen. Try to, to understand what I'm trying to say, okay? Nice meeting you, everyone, again. That's me, Joel Castellanos. I'm a licenciado en Ciencias de la Educación, but in English, right? I work in the morning. I was telling you, right? It's very exhausting, very tiring, but I like it. In the morning, I work with... A, at a university, in a classroom. In the afternoon, I work online. At night, with you, I'm working uh, online too. Okay. Let's see. So, 
check at this. Tareas y evaluaciones, ¿no? Uh, it's necessary to get the 80% average. Homework assignments and evaluations. So you can pass the level for this group, right? Pasar este módulo. 80%. Si no me escuchan, me lo dicen. Porque ya se vino la lluvia demasiado fuerte. Creo que yo no lo voy a escuchar tampoco. Si no me escuchan, me, me hacen saber, ¿ok? Se escucha un poco. Uh, a little. Un poco cortado. Espero no tener esos problemas cuando llueve, ¿no? Let me switch my microphone. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Las tareas se encuentran, como les decía, en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. ¿Ok? Ustedes pueden adelantar, como les decía, trabajarlo todo, enfocarse en su plataforma, trabajar ahí. Unos pueden ir adelante que otros, pero en clase vamos a resolver todas las dudas. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completo, completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que este registro es enviado a ISAFUR semanalmente. ¿Okay? Habrá material de apoyo también que yo puedo usar para ir de, desarrollando las clases. ¿Okay? Si tienen alguna duda, pregunta, me la pueden hacer saber. Me interrumpen y me preguntan. We're going to work on four weeks, right? Week one, week two, week three, week four. In the first week, we are going to work on two sections. Unit six and seven. My sister works downtown. Does it have a view? We're going to cover these two units in one week. In the second week, we are going to work on unit number eight. What do you do? Week number three. Yes, section four. Hmm? Broccoli is good for you. Week number four. Yes, unit 10 or section or section cinco. Examen final. In week number two, you have a, the mid-term exam. Two exams, right? One in the middle, one in the end. That's what we are going to, to do in four weeks, okay? Mostly these units or sections focus on simple present. Simple present and can. Can for possibility. I can play soccer, I can play basketball. This is very easy. Simple present is um, not so difficult. It's, it's a little bit easy, but you have to work on this. And then, okay, I don't know, let me see. I'm going to take the attendance. Someone is missing, I guess. I'm going to cover the attendance right now, okay? And I'm going to share this later. Let me say the attendance. Remember that attendance or la asistencia también es muy, muy importante, okay? So I'm going to call your names. Voy a llamarlos. And it's in present, okay? Present. Let me see. Alison Rachel Celis Ortiz. Present. 
Cristian Alexander Pérez Portillo. Present. Thank you very much. Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Artiaga Benítez. Present. Thank you very much. Carla Elizabeth Hernández Peña. Present. Thank you. Kenia Briseida Torres Martínez. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Janine Aguillón López. No está. Kimberly Janine Aguillón López. Linse Indira Lobo Díaz. Y si pronuncio mal su nombre, me lo dice. Present. Thank you very much. María Ana de Jesús González. Present. Thank you. María Stephanie Orellana Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejía. Present. Thank you. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Thank you. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landaverde. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landa Verde. No. Verónica Magali Martínez Martínez. Present. Thank you. Víctor Manuel Guardado Torres. Present coach. Thank you. Vilma Rubenia Campos Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. Present. Thank you. Jose Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present. Thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate it. Okay. A nice meeting you for the ones who join a little bit late. That's something important. Try to be on time, eight o'clock sharp, because los minutos también cuentan en la asistencia, ¿ok? Cuántos minutos entraron tarde y cuántos minutos se salieron temprano. Los minutos cuentan también. Recuerden que deben de tener el 80% en la asistencia, 80% en minutos. Así que... Traten de conectarse justo a las 8 y salirse justo también a las 9 para que los minutos eh, no les falten al final. ¿De acuerdo? No olviden, bueno, ya vamos a llegar ahí también, en eso estábamos. Con lo de las cámaras, sus micrófonos listos para participar, ¿verdad? Bien, ahí nos habíamos quedado. Si ¿Sí observo en mi pantalla. La presentación. Yes. Yes, Thank coach. You. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Let's move on. There you have assistencia 80%. If you have less, you fail. Okay? You fail. Avance y desarrollo de plataforma de aprendizaje. You have your platform, you have to work on the platform. 
tienen que ir desarrollando la plataforma, ¿ok? Inicio de clases. 8 o'clock. I was telling you. 8 o'clock. ¿Ok? Tener cámara encendida por 60 minutos. Very short. 60 minutes. One hour. Trabajar ejercicios en plataforma de clase. Luego, obtenga su diploma. ¿Ok? Políticas de asistencia. Comments, questions, preguntas, dudas. No question. Gracias. Thank you very much, María Stephanie. Normas de convivencia. Botón de silencio mientras no se participe. But remember, participation is important. La participación es muy importante. You have to, to participate, right? To say, like, Maria, right? No, teacher. Good. That's good. You are using the language. That's perfect. Thank you. Um, the attendance, right? Voy a estar nombrándolos, llamándolos para ir corroborando su asistencia. En participación activa. ¿Ok? Participación activa. Don't forget that. You have to participate. You can use the chat. ¿Ok? Raise your hand. Levantar la mano para comentar o preguntar, participar. ¿Ok? And respect. Respect your classmates. Respect your friends. Respect your teacher. As I'm going to respect you all the time. Ok. That's it. I guess everything is clear. Yeah. Claro. Cámaras encendidas, micrófonos apagados si no se está participando, ¿ok? La asistencia puntual, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, ¿ok? Um, raise your hand, open your microphone, and participate. Your participation is going to be very welcome. And that's the best way to practice your English, ¿ok? That's it. No comments, no questions. Okay, so I'm going to, to change something here. And we're going to start session one. My sister works downtown. There you have. And we're going to practice a uh, vocabulary. Okay? Transportation. Let's see a question. Do you drive? Can you drive? Who can drive? ¿Quién puede manejar? That's the question. Who can drive? I can drive. Victor can drive. Who can drive? Only 
Only car. Okay. Now, transportations in the USA, in the United States, and we have top eight, five, six, seven, eight. Top eight ways to get to work. So, let's see, Victor, how do you get to work? How do you transport to, oh, you work at home. I work at home. <laughs> Okay. I I not driving to my home. Okay. Yeah, obviously, but right. I go in to two days in the week to my to the office. And you drive. And uh, I take the bus. You take the bus. Okay. Yes. So there you have number one, drive. You can repeat after me, okay? The okay. microphone. Sin micrófono, allí ustedes, ¿ok? Escuchan and repeat. Allí ustedes, donde estén, sin necesidad de abrir el micrófono. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway. This is in the United States, right? Take the subway, take the train, ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, or take a take a cab. Taxi and cab, the same, but mostly in the United States they use taxi. In England they use cab. Let's take a cab. Cab, okay, cab. Now I'm going to choose. Let's practice. Jose Alexander, can you please read the eight phrases? Open your microphone and can you read? Try to read. Try to read the word. Yo casi no lo entiendo, teacher. Yo soy okay. full principiante. Okay, okay, don't worry. Lo que vamos a hacer es leer las frases. Como sea, como caiga. Pero así es como, así aprendí yo. Y, y todo el que aprendió un segundo idioma, así aprendió. ¿Verdad? Repeat. Okay. If you yeah. want, if you want, I'm going to drive. read. Okay. Drive. Drive. Walk. Take, in, take the bus. Take the subway. Take the train. Ride on the bike, ride on the motorcycle, and take a taxi cab. Motorcycle. Repeat, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Yeah, perfect. Motorcycle. You see, motorcycle. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Jose. Um, let's see. I'm going to choose another person. What about Carlos Andres? Yeah. Read. Transportation. Okay. Drive. Walk. Take up the bus. Take up the subway. Take up the train. Ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle. Take, take a taxi. Take a taxi. Yes. Thank you very much. Well done. Motorcycle. Motor, it's like motor, motor, right? Motor, motor, cycle, motorcycle. Thank you very much. A lady, a lady, Vilma. Can you please, Vilma, read the words? Try. Sería solo ponerle el take y leer la, la palabra? Sí. Yes, read it. Uh, Sería take a drive. Number, number one. Take a drive. Oh, oh. No, no le. Comencemos con la uno. Number one, drive. Repeat. Drive. Drive. Number drive. two. Drive. Walk. Take the bus. 
Take the subway. Subway. What is subway? Subway is el pan, subway. No, the subway is yes. el subterráneo in the United States. Mm. The subway. Yo pensé que subway. <laughs> no, ya. <yeah. laughs> Para la cena me gustaría uno. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Un subway, ya. Yeah. But this is subway. subterráneo, the subway, ya. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Number five. Say, say the rain, the train, train. Perfect. Ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle. Take a taxi cup. ¿Qué significa la? También se puede decir cup. Yes. Esa era la. Take a cup. Yes. Esa era la 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 idea. Significa taxi también. Taxi cab es 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 es, es lo mismo. Taxi. Sí, no. Yes. Taxi lo mm. lo usan mm. en Estados Unidos. Taxi. El cab es más british, británico. Pero igual se usan, ¿verdad? Take a taxi, take a cab. Pero uno, ¿no? A la vez. Usted puede decir, take a taxi. O, take a cab. But mostly taxi is the best, right? I mean, it's easy. Let's take a taxi, okay? Cool, let's take a taxi. Okay. All right, give me a second, please. Okay, let's see. I'm going to choose another volunteer. Someone who wants to participate. I'm volunteer teacher. Thank you, Mary, Stephanie. Number one. Drive. To walk. Take the bus. Take the so take the the subway. Take the train. Train. Ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle, motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mary, Mary Ann, Mary Ann. Uh, drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, Ride the bike, ride the motorcycle, take the taxi, or take a cab. Take a cab. Perfect. Thank you for your participation. Another volunteer? Otro voluntario? Another volunteer? What about Lindsay? Is Is that sure, sorry. Maria and I uh, have a question. Oh, sorry. Tell me. Maria. Don't my don't my hand. <laughs> I no question. No question. No, down my hand. <laughs> yes, uh creo que sí, no fue para la participación, ¿verdad? Okay. Um, so, Lindsay, please. That's correct, Lindsay. Okay. Sí, Lindsay. Drive, well, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a um, motorcycle. Say a taxi cup. Thank you. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Someone else? Alguien más? Someone else? So we continue with a conversation. I want to say. Nice car. Here you have a conversation. Now, I'm going to read, <clears throat> pay attention, okay? Listen to me. The conversation is between Ashley and Jason. Ashley, Jason. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now, again, I'm going to read again. Repeat after me. Pero con micrófono apagado, okay? Ahí en su habitación, repeat. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now, do you get the idea what the conversation is about? ¿Comprenden de qué están hablando Jason and Ashley? So, so it's to the job to the sister at the Jason. Oh, dice okay. que, bueno, le pregunta que si es suyo el carro, le dice que no, que es de la hermana. Este, y le pregunta que, bueno, él le dice que tiene un nuevo trabajo y que lo utiliza para llegar a él, para conducir a su trabajo. La hermana le pregunta si viven afuera, en los suburbios. Y él le dice que no, que en el centro. Que... Y le dice ella, mis padres trabajan en el centro, pero ellos toman... Pero ellos no, no conducen al trabajo, ellos usan el transporte público. Y Jason le dice, bueno, le pregunta, ¿el bus o el tren? ¿El autobús o el tren? Y ella le dice que ellos, este, que el tren no tiene un, como una parada, este, en casa, cerca de casa así que ellos utilizan el bus pero es muy lento y él le responde que eso es tan malo, o sea, eso es feo that's too bad it's like, qué pena, right? that's too bad now you can use this uh, expression hey, that's too bad for example, hey, tomorrow we don't have a classes, oh, that's too bad <laughs> pero algunos es bueno, ¿no? Para otro para hacer malo, ¿no? Clases mañana. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now, 
listen to me. I'm going to ask some questions and answer. Try to give me the answer, yes or no, right? Jason has a new car. No. The car mm. is your sister. His sister. And Jason's sister has a new job. Yes. 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 Good. Yes. So, his sister takes the bus to work. No. 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 I Why not? More. He drives, right? He drives the job. The new car, yeah. Um, the job, or Jason's sister's job, is downtown. Yes, it's in downtown. The sister in the shower. Exactly. Her job is in the suburbs. What does it mean? What is suburbs? Allá le llaman suburbios. Suburbios. Uh -huh. Pero, bueno... No le dice, no, no yo creí que Ashley le preguntaba si estaba en un suburbio y le dice que no, que está en el centro. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh -huh. uh, I, I was thinking about um, their parents. I was reading their parents downtown. Yeah, but you're totally right. Thank you very much. It says, is her job here in the suburb? Here, right, in the suburb. It says, no, it's downtown. Very good. It's downtown. Mm -hmm. Now, this is another question. Who? Who works downtown, but they don't drive? The parents to Ashley. Ashley's parents. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It says, what kind of what kind of transportation do they use? Can you repeat me a question? What kind of transportation do Ashley's Ashley's parents use? The bus. They use the bus. They take the bus. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so now I need two volunteers. Ashley and Jason. Alguien que no haya participado? Uh, I can do it. Okay, so you are Jason and Marianne Ashley. One, two, three. Nice car, Jason. It is yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job her in the suburb? Suburb? No, say suburb. Suburb. <laughs> suburb. 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 No, it is downtown. My parents work downtown but they don't drive to work they use public trans transportation the bus or the train the train do don't don't stop near new or you so they take the bus it's really slow Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's too bad. Thank you very much. Uh, bus, the bus, bus, okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Two more volunteers. Mm -hmm. 
Gabriela. A boy. Un chico. Carlos Andres, thank you very much. Okay, Ashley. Um, Gabriela, right? One, two, three. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She she has new cup on the she drive to work. Is her job her in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus on the train. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. That's too bad. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Downtown. Down, downtown. Bus. The bus. The bus. Suburbs. Good. Two more volunteers. So everybody listen and everybody speaks, right? Um, si dos están diciendo la conversación, usted vaya repitiendo lo que va escuchando. Okay? Ahí repítalo en voz alta. And this is very important when you, if you are in your bedroom, in the kitchen, in the garage, I don't know, repeat in the garden, in the piscina, ahí en el cuarto. Um, en voz alta, que sea en voz alta, eso es importante. ¿No han visto un meme que dice, mi mente habla un full English? Porque aquí mentalmente lo pronunciamos tan bien, pero cuando lo producimos aquí, se trabó la carreta. So, Son los nervios. Yes. Um, ok. So, oh, pero me refiero cuando ustedes están, cuando estén ahí, ¿no? Con micrófono apagado, repita en voz alta. Que lo escuchen ahí en su casa, los vecinos que aprendan también inglés. En voz alta. Okay, two more volunteers. Kenny Abriseida, thank you. A boy. Jesus, okay. Uh, Kenny, Ashley, and Jesus, Jason. One, two, three. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new hope and she tried to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it is downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. Pass the bus. Thank you very much. Now, another word, repeat, job, job, job. He has a new job, he has a new job, he has a new job, and she drives, and she drives to work, she drives to work. Pu public, public, public transportation, public transportation. Public transportation, train, train. The train doesn't, the train doesn't stop near our house. It's really slow. Good. Now, let's check vocabulary. What words are new for you? ¿Qué palabras son nuevas, digamos, o que totalmente no comprenden? 
in the conversation? The new word for me is downtown. Downtown. It's the center of the city, right? Downtown. Mm -hmm. the, the center of the city. Vamos al centro. Let's go downtown. Downtown. Another one? And this one near, 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 near. I don't understand. It's near, very close, right? Near, close, cerca. Near my house. Near my house. There is a stadium near my house. Hay un estadio cerca de mi casa. Near my house. What else? The expression that's so bad is, is new for me. Okay, that's too bad. Now you can use it, okay? You can use it. For example, the class tell me no. Ah, that's too bad, teacher. Come on. Huh? Para algunos no, lo contrario. Hey, that's good. I only know the expression with F. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Quickly, quickly, let me... Stop this. <laughs> Someone. Okay. Now, what what is important? in the conversation and we're going to um, practice some 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 grammar points check this because this is very important in simple present estamos en el tiempo presente and this is very important i get up at eight o'clock i get up at eight o'clock Right? I get up at eight o'clock. Kevin gets up at eight o'clock. <clears throat> Remember that we have the pronouns. Do you remember the pronouns? I, you, he, she, it, we, they, right? Those are the pronouns. So this is important. I get up at eight o'clock. Kevin, Kevin gets up. If you check the verb, check the verb. Oh, sorry, something went wrong. I get up, Kevin gets up, okay? If we talk about another person in singular, we need an S in the verb. Okay? Let's see more examples. Then I take a shower. Then he takes a shower. If we talk, si nos referimos a él, a ella, o algo, o un animal, el verbo se le agrega una S. He takes. What is then? What is? Then. Oh, then, luego. Then. Luego. Mm -hmm. Luego. Then he takes a shower. Luego él toma una ducha, un baño. Takes. You see? I, he. What is the difference? I take, he takes. He takes. Okay? Affirmative sentences. Afirmaciones. Cuando hablamos de él, ella, algo, un animal. Por ejemplo, puede decir, my dog, my dog likes 
to sleep. My dog likes to sleep. My cat sleeps all day. Mi gato duerme por todo el día. My cat sleeps all day. Check this. At half past eight. Rolando. Mm, sigo sin entender por qué se le agrega la S. Mm, creo que es el hecho de que lo está explicando en inglés y como me cuesta un poco todavía, entonces es como todavía asocio a algunas cosas. Okay. Pero no sé si lo puedo explicar en español. <coughs> ok, la situación está así. Tal vez el saber por qué se le agrega está de más que lo conozcan. Lo que deben saber es o la regla dice cuando usamos el tiempo presente, ¿no? Usualmente el tiempo presente lo usamos para expresar rutinas. Yo me levanto, yo me baño, yo desayuno, que en la próxima clase les voy a enseñar la rutina, creo que de Bart Simpson. I like Bart Simpson. Um, rutinas, ¿no? Yo me levanto, bueno, yo me despierto, yo me levanto, yo me baño, yo desayuno, yo voy a la escuela, eh, regreso a casa, almuerzo, hago mi tarea, veo televisión, me voy a la cama, toda una rutina. ¿Sí? Ahora el hecho está, cuando estamos afirmando, si yo comienzo a describir la rutina de Víctor Manuel, oh, Víctor Manuel se despierta a las 5, se levanta a las 6, se toma, toma un baño a las 6 y media, Toma el desayuno a las 7. Estoy describiendo la rutina de Víctor. Me estoy refiriendo a él. Cuando yo me refiero a él, el verbo tiene que agregar una S. That's the idea. ¿Ok? That's the idea. Ok, ok. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ok. Eh, yeah. Yes. Sería todos los verbos que vayan dirigidos a otra persona. A todos los a todos los verbos que se refieran a él, a ella o algo. Por ejemplo, si ahorita por lo menos acá está lloviendo y si yo y si yo digo en invierno llueve todos los, los días. Es algo neutro, ¿no? Entonces, acá sería it, porque el pronombre it se refiere a algo. Diría it rains, para decir llueve. It rains every day. Uh -huh. El sol alumbra. El sol brilla. The sun shines. The sun shines. Ok, yes. Se le llama terceras personas singular. Porque hay terceras personas plural, ¿no? Las terceras personas singular. Él, ella, algo o eso, que es el it. Entonces, la, acá tengo las, las reglas. Creo que ahí tengo esto. Acá lo van a observar. Y le pueden tomar una screenshot. Voy a mostrar acá. Con eso terminamos. Vean ahí. I take. You look. We go. I can see this. Teacher, eso está en, el, en, el, en lo de las tareas. Yes. Uh -huh. We run. They love. He takes, she looks, she runs, it loves, ¿ok? Ahí lo tienen, las terceras personas, ahí está, he, she, it, el verbo agrega s, el resto de pronombres no, y esto sería en la forma afirmativa, ¿ok? Now, let's say your homework, una homework que la vamos a discutir en clase mañana, 
describa su rutina corta, seis oraciones. Y describa la rutina de su hermano o hermana o de alguien, pero en singular, que sea él o ella. Yes. And you are going to read tomorrow. Me van a leer esa rutinas tomorrow. Any other okay. comments or question? You see that time is short, very short. No comments, no questions, guys? No question. No, no question. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your participation. Gracias por participar. Thank you for connecting today. Gracias por conectarse. And nice meeting you. Placer conocerles. Nice meeting you. And see you tomorrow. Eight o'clock sharp. En punto. ¿Ok? Have Richard, tengo una consulta. Oh, yes. ¿Cuándo termina el módulo? Octubre 27. Ah, muy bien. Gracias. You're welcome. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you.